I'm Sai Jitin. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. Or in today's video, to do the speed test comparison between the OnePlus 8T versus the iQ7 device. Yes, friends. Uh, finally, I got my uh, back OnePlus 8T device, and I am going to test with other smartphones as well. So make sure to comment below what are other testings you want me to do on the OnePlus 8T. And these are the few games which are selected during this time of testing, as you can see. So these 10 games, I'll try to see which phone can actually open faster and which phone can actually remember how many games in the RAM management. That is what I'm going to do in this kind of testing. So this test is going to be really very, very interesting and very challenging. So let's see friends. And during this time, I did not use any kind of ultra game mode and I did not use any kind of game space. So there is no gaming uh, tools enhancement options which in this both option, both phones. The reason is because if I try to use uh, gaming enhancement tools, they'll try to uh, delete the background games. In that way, we won't be able to know RAM management. That is the reason I did not use. And during this time, I'm trying to use the same kind of variant in both phones, which is a 8GB RAM variant. Or let me to quickly show you. 8GB RAM variant, as you can see. And I'm not turning on any kind of external RAM. Yes, there's no external RAM. I'm not keeping it on. So it's completely off because I do believe that even without external RAM, the iQ7 phone can actually perform as normal. Yes, that in my experience, I, I did feel a uh, same thing because I did never see the RAM utilization is a lot. No, I didn't never see. I did see only 4 GB or 5 GB is a maximum used, not until 6, 7 GB. I never came across. That's the reason I thought of turning off. So this will be kind of equal test. OnePlus 80 versus this phone. Let's see which phone will be able to uh, reboot first. First, I'll try to reboot both phones. Let me try to re restart. Let's see friends. Right now, both phones are restarting. So now we'll be able to know which phone can actually reboot faster. So make sure to comment below friends in case if you want me to do any other videos on the OnePlus 8T phone in terms of the comparison. So right now I don't have the OnePlus 9R because the OnePlus 9R is with another brother. So this OnePlus 8T I did give to my another brother. So only OnePlus 8T brother came to my home. That is the reason I thought I thought of making a videos on this OnePlus 8T at this moment. So for the next couple of days, I'll be using this phone. So and I'll be testing in depth with the comparison with other smartphones. And right now I think both phones at the same time. I did not uh, look at exactly, but I think both phones are locked open at the same time. I guess so. Yes, maybe. So in the reboot test, that's uh, really great. So both phones did a really good job in terms of the reboot test. Now let me try to open. So these are the 10 games which I'm going to test right now. And I'm connecting to the same Wi-Fi network as you can see friends. Same 5 gigahertz network I'm trying to connect to in this time of testing. I'm going to clear everything. So all the background applicants are completely clean. And these are the 10 games which I'm going to test right now as you can see. So let's start with the first uh, game which is a PUBG game which is a version 1.5. Let's see which phone can actually open faster. So without using any kind of game turbo, nothing at all. So nothing is enabled during this time of testing. And in case if you feel my videos are really helping you and in case if you want to donate some amount of money, you can do that to my number as you can see phone pay, GP and Paytm. I'll use those money to buy the new phones. So in the upcoming days, I'm planning definitely to buy the, a lot of other smartphones. That is the reason I thought of asking some small help from my subscribers who feel my videos are really worth it and for whom my videos are really helpful. Only those people can definitely donate. So right now, the iQ7 phone did open slightly faster than the OnePlus 8T. Let's see the BGMI game. And I did do the side by side, all this kind of gameplay comparisons as well between this phone and this phone, PUBG game and everything. So make sure to check those videos in case if you want to know. And both phones, wow, that's fantastic. I think the closest phone to the performance, maybe the OnePlus 8T can be the real winner. I think so. So sorry friends, and I think I forgot to change the account, but same account got open in both uh, BGMI game. That is the reason. I'll try to keep this in the background. Anyway, no problem. I'll try to keep this uh, FIFA. So I'm kind of feeling the OnePlus 8T is kind of close to uh, iQ7 device sometimes. I'm not sure, but let's see in the RAM management friend. That is the best thing to check which phone actually performs the best RAM management. We do know till now the iQ7 was the winner in terms of the RAM management when compared with all other smartphones. That is what uh, we did know. So whenever if, we, uh, if I get any kind of new phone, I'll always keep this iQ7 as a benchmark in terms of the multitasking and RAM management. So I wish I could have added the iQ7 legend because I really do miss the iQ7 legend in terms of comparisons and all these videos, especially. So since that is a huge investment, that is the reason I did not buy the iQ legend. So next is the subway sub. Let's see the subway sub. Which phone can actually open? I think iQ7. Yes, iQ7 did open faster. Not bad. Not bad when the OnePlus also trying its best to be kind of close. And Candy Crush, both are same. It's nothing for both phones. Let's see the getaway too. 
so this game usually takes a lot of time you do know if you watch my videos you will definitely understand so first in the one place 80 as you can see when first in one place 80 did open that's good as you can see clearly so not bad and uh, temple run it's just close by so first in the iq sound device so first it did open in the iq sound device and it's kind of loading and let's go to the next game which is a uh, ace force let's say the ace force i just want to see the login popping up yes i think yeah first it got pop up in the i could sound device that is what i'm looking after and bb racing let's see this game beach buggy racing which phone i could sound first as you can see friends now now we got all the background 10 games open perfectly as you can see starting from first game which is a pubg everything in the background memory now this is the time to test friends which phone will be having the really good ram management let's get started so let's see the first game yes absolutely. i'm trying to come from back side backwise that is what a lot of users are that it recommend me to use perfect till here temple run no problem get away to no problem yep that's kind of really very close call that's fantastic subway sub angry birds not bad as you can see friends the one plus 80 is kind of doing a really great job in terms of uh, bringing the really close tie let's see the fifa game so i'm really excited to see which phone can keep up not bad that's wonderful the one plus 80 did keep the fifa game friends that's fantastic let's see the bgmi game whether both phones can keep up or not that's kind of interesting test that's wonderful as you can see both phones has got the bgmi in the background it's fantastic as you can see exactly friends and next is the pubg game i'm not sure whether the pubg will be open in both phones i'm not sure as i said exactly as you can see so now we got to understand one we got a competition with the iq7 which is a one plus 80 device so which is less than the performance less than the process snapdragon 870 but still it's kind of little bit kind of close so now you got to understand friends from uh, this point I will definitely concentrate in terms of doing more and more speed test comparison between both phones. Not only games, but even I'll try to use applications. I need to test, if you remember 50 applications opening test in this OnePlus 8T, I just want to do what will be the maximum number of applications we can actually open in this phone. That test I'll try to plan very soon. So make sure to stay tuned. So every day I'll try to come up with a new and new speed test comparison between these two phones. And from now I'll try to keep this in mind that OnePlus 8T is actually, it's not a joke. I would say definitely it's kind of really good so i'll definitely uh, try to do the side by side comparison it does a speed test between these two phones so very soon so stay tuned for more videos friends finally the clear winner is absolutely the both phones are clear winner because sometimes the oneplus 80 also open the applications really fast and sometimes sometimes even the iq sound also open the application games sorry really fast so this is a quite little bit kind of difference but apart from that there is nothing so thank you for watching this video friends and stay tuned for more updates and see you in the next video friends until then bye